Hello, this is Dupinder Sial and welcome to Spartan Tutorials. Now with the flood of information as well as misinformation available on internet, social media and news media, it is hard to know whom to believe or not. Well, I am here to help today. In today's video, I will discuss what medical professionals and experts have advised regarding women who are planning to get pregnant, are pregnant or are new mothers. Of course, this is not my own advice. I have looked at the advice from many different health professionals as well as experts and health organizations and summarized that information for you in an easy to understand manner. So let's look at what experts say about women and pregnancy. Now, before we get into specific advices for pregnant women, it is important to clear some points. What research has told us about COVID-19 and women in general, number one is that COVID-19 infection risk is not higher for a pregnant woman as compared to the general population. So they have almost the same risk. That being said, women who are overweight, that is their body mass index is greater than 25 or who have pre-existing conditions like hypertension and diabetes, they are likely to develop more severe COVID-19 infections if they do get COVID positive. So that is something to be kept in mind. Another point that is comforting to women is that mothers have not usually been observed to transmit COVID-19 from them to their babies. So that is really me. And even if the babies do contract COVID-19, they have been observed to recover very well. So that is some comforting news. Now let's get into the major advice for pregnant women in general. The first advice is to follow social distancing and masks. That is the COVID appropriate behavior. They should follow that at all times. They should maintain an active lifestyle and stay hydrated. That is very important for their health as well as the health of their baby. They should follow a healthy balanced diet, not overdoing any of the macronutrients as well as supplements of folic acid, which helps with the neural development as well as the brain and spinal cord development of the baby and vitamin D, which helps in fetus development. They should also not skip the regular scans that they have scheduled with their doctors. They should visit the doctor for regular scans to check up on the health of the baby. Also, if they have any concerns about their own health or health of their baby, they should consult their doctor. Medical professionals are the best people to ask for advice in such matters. Okay, in case a mother gets COVID positive, a new mother gets COVID positive, what kind of precautions she should take? Number one is she should wash her hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds before handling the baby. Also, if the soap is not available, then she should use at least a sanitizer with above 60% alcohol content. The alcohol content of a sanitizer is usually listed on the ingredients list of the bottle, so make sure you check that. Also, they should wear a mask when they are within the six feet of the baby. Also, in general, they should keep the baby at least six feet away from them as much as possible if they are COVID positive. And also, they should discuss with doctor whether they should keep the baby in an incubator if they are already in the hospital. And finally, it is not advisable to put a face shield or a face mask on a baby. It can lead to respiratory problems and breathing problems. So that is not advisable. Oh, what about COVID vaccines? Now here there is a lot of misconceptions as well as a lot of conspiracy theories and misinformation being circulated on news media as well as social media. So you look at the official guidelines by various organizations, Center for Disease Control and Prevention or Ministry of Health and Family Welfare in India, or other organizations in your own specific countries, the recommendations are basically the same. Whether you are a pregnant woman or somebody who is planning to get pregnant or somebody who is a new mother or in general young women who are even menstruating, there is no problem in getting the vaccines. Vaccines that are available for COVID-19, they do not contain any live viruses. So there is no harm in them. They are completely safe and effective. So please get the vaccine as soon as possible. There is no need to worry about them. In the unlikely chance that a newborn baby catches COVID-19, what are the symptoms that mothers should look for? Because of course, babies cannot speak and they cannot tell whether they are feeling bad or uneasy. So you should be on the lookout for these symptoms. Some of the symptoms are fever, lethargy, so being either too much tired or not being active, runny nose, cough, vomiting, diarrhea, poor feeding, and having difficulty breathing. 
So these are the signs and symptoms that might indicate that the baby has some problem. So you should get the baby checked for COVID-19 if somehow the baby has contracted COVID-19 or not. For further information, these are some links that I have given. These are reputed medical organizations. You should also consult the local, in your country, specific medical organizations. For example, in India, we have Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, uh, ICMR, World Health Organization, Center for Disease Control and Prevention. They have ample amount of information regarding what to do and what not to do when a woman is pregnant and is at risk of developing COVID-19. So please follow those instructions. So that was my discussion regarding COVID-19 in pregnancy. Please let me know if you have any doubts, comments or questions. As always, feedback is more than welcome. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.